April. It's the time where we have beautiful sunny days, but the nights are still cold. So still be a bit apprehensive about what you put out. And if you do put something out, put a bit of fleece on top to protect it. Now, there are lots to sow, lots to plant this month. So let us start off with gladiolas. A beautiful flower. I'll be putting these in in the coming weeks, but if I don't get around to doing them all, they can still go in up until May time. But the peony, this is really the last month that you've got to put them in. Otherwise, you're going to miss the boat for this year. Coreopsis, we could start putting these in last month. So we're in the middle of the time when we can plant them. So you've got up until the end of next month. But now let us go on to herbs. Now, I understand there's going to be loads of stuff that I will probably forget. So what I will do is I'll put an extensive list on the website and I will add to it when I remember things that I've forgotten to mention. So I'll put a link to that in the description below. But herbs. Now, the majority of herbs you can plant them at any time of the year, but there are a few that really like to go in in spring. And lemon balm, a beautiful scent to that. I quite like to have that just for the scent alone rather than to use it in the kitchen. Tarragon. Garlic chives. Who doesn't like a pot of garlic chives? I've got a bit of a frog in the throat today. Mustard. Rocket. If you find your, that your rocket goes to seed, then uh, plant it when the days start to get shorter. After we've... Um, oh, when is that? July time, is it? When the days... Uh, when the evenings aren't as... Um, light as they are now. If you start to sow them then, you will find that they won't go to seed as much. Basil. But the thing is, with the cost of the seeds, you could just do them every two weeks and, and then just take a chance. Bit of rocket. I'm going to go through these quite quickly because I want to get onto the veg. Lovage. Thyme. Dill. Parsley, like I said, a lot of these can be done at any time of the year, so we don't want to spend too much time because uh, April is really all about the vegetables for me. And there they are. Like I said, there's quite a quite a few to do, and a lot of these now you can actually put straight outside. So if you haven't got a greenhouse, just put them into the garden. But again, still be on alert with these uh, frosts because my greenhouse today got up to 40 degrees but last night it got down to minus three and you'll find until the last frost which for me is second third week in may it's a bit of a game of running out and putting the fleece and making sure that everything is protected peas we can start putting our peas in now but I'll, with the majority of veg don't put all the seeds in at the same time Put a few seeds in, put some more in three weeks time. And you can do that with runner beans as well. A lot of people will just put all the runner beans in on the same day. But you can put these in up until July. And if you do that, you just eke in the season on a bit further into autumn. Peas, again, peas can be done up until June. So don't be in a rush to put them in. But if you do want to put them in, Maybe just put six plants in now and then put six plants in three weeks time and then you get a better cropping season. One pea that I'm doing this year, which I haven't done before, is called a Victorian purple potted pea, which is a heritage one. And another one that is a heritage is a pea called dwarf teleford. It would be very interested to see what they come out like. April is the time when, like I've said in the past, if you, do, if you do the six week rule, where you work out when your frost date is, and then you work back and you start sowing six weeks before, then you don't go far wrong with that method. And one of them that I will be doing that with is sweet corn, because we don't want sweet corn 
up so high that we can't put it outside and then we get um, a lack of space in the greenhouse so six weeks before then start to put your seeds in and the sweet corn if you if you didn't have a greenhouse we could sow this directly outside in may once that last frost has gone carrots start sowing carrots now up until june and if you get the variety called Eskimo, you can then sow them in uh, July and August and have carrots during the winter. Bold tardy beetroot. Beetroot is a crop that you can start sowing now up until the end of July. And again, every two, three weeks, put the seed in. Because you find when people start, what they tend to do is they'll take a packet of radish and they'll sow a row of it and then in a few weeks time they've got 400 radish and they pick them they give them away they eat some and then they realize they've got nothing two weeks later so just sow a little sow it often now something that i will be sowing in the greenhouse is a cucumber and this is one that i would leave until round about the 23rd for no other reason than the greenhouse will be less busy at that time of year and if you haven't got a greenhouse and you still want to do a cucumber try the outdoor varieties and i'm just trying to re uh, remember one of them um, the name's gone it's like a bush cucumber and oh it's on the tip of my tongue and it'll come back when i talk about something else so you can do your cucumbers outdoors, but again, that's uh, for outdoor sowing, leave it till towards the end of the month into May. Lettuce. Now, lettuce do not like it hot. Some like it hot, lettuce doesn't. And they prefer a bit of shade. So you can sow these outdoors up until August and don't put them in full sun. Give them a tiny bit of shade and then they'll be happy. Again, if you've got an outdoor seed bed, and I will be making one in the coming weeks, you can put your spring onions in. Again, sow a little, sow it often. Let there be turnips, somebody said. I'm not a big fan of turnips, but you can start sowing these up until July. But something that I am a great fan of, and this is the last month to sow them, is leeks. These can be sown indoors or outdoors and if you're going to sow them outdoors put put them into a seed bed and then we can lift them up later and i'll show you all that as we go throughout the month again something which is the last chance saloon to put in is tomatoes get your tomatoes in before the end of april rocket i think i've already shown you that again a, another seed which is a bit delicate to frost is squash the winter squash is something that i love and i'll be sowing these more towards the end of april rather than in the middle again because of that frost thing and the same to do with uh, melons i'll be doing my, my melons in the greenhouse again towards the end of the month cabbages you can start putting your cabbages in now and in next month and what variety is this this is called golden acre so get them in now you can't beat going to get a cabbage from the garden although i prefer a winter savoy cabbage to be honest now things like your runner beans your climbing french beans again that six week rule comes in because if you put these in at the start of the month you will find that by the time this first frost comes around which i keep going on about you'll have plants that are really really big and they'll be uh, pot bound and so don't be in too much of a rush to sow these regarding the last frost four weeks before is ample enough time i wouldn't sow them uh, anything more than six weeks before though Something that adds a bit of colour and structure to the garden is leaf beet. And we can sow that. And this is a sturdy plant, so we can put the seed of this directly outside. Radish, I've already spoken about that. Now, 
this is what's interesting about gardening. You can go down the road and there's an entirely different uh, way of thinking. And in Wales, we would plant our parsnips in February. But up in England, I've noticed people will sow their parsnips up until June. So I will be sowing mine in April. Now these will stay in the ground, so you don't really have to do the sowing the little and sowing the often with these. But if you wanted to do that, then there wouldn't be any harm in it whatsoever. Also, the advantage of sowing a little, sowing it often, is the fact that you might not have the whole garden ready for your seeds. So if you just put a, a, a few in, then you can come back a few weeks later and put some more in. Now, one thing which I'm going to include in this list, but should have really been sown by the end of last month, but because this year is a bit, I think we're about four weeks behind, when you look at the trees, they aren't coming into bud as quickly as they did last year. So I think we could get away with a late sowing of cauliflowers. And this is a very good variety called All Year Round. And something that I will be trying this year, that I haven't tried before, is a watermelon. And again, these are a bit of a tender plant. So I'll be sowing these in about a week or two's time. Now something I forgot to sow for last month, and if you forget to sow something and you think, oh, but the time's passed, then for the sake of a 70p pack of seeds, give it a go. It might come, it might not come. But we're having these nice warm days now, so I'm going to sow some sweet peppers and just see what happens. If they come, they come. If they don't, they don't. Now, what else is there? Is that everything I've got? No, there's flowers. There's fl I nearly forgot the flowers. You can't really have a garden without flowers, can you? And one of my favorite flowers is night scented stock. A beautiful scent. We can start sowing that directly into the garden now. And from now until June, just again, sprinkle a little, sprinkle it often. I've just discovered that one of my seed packets is broken and I've got seeds all over my legs. Yarrow. Really, the last month now to sow this directly outdoors. And as you've seen, I've sown some cornflowers last autumn, but if you didn't get around to do it last year, you can do it now up until the end of May. And I I'm sure you've seen everybody's been sowing their sweet peas in greenhouses. But again, if you haven't got a greenhouse, what do you do? You wait till April. And then in April and, and May, you can put your sweet peas in directly where the canes are. This is really your last month for doing your teasel. So pop that into the ground before the end of this month. Yellow rattle that lives off grass so if you've got a bit of grass you want to get rid of throw that in there's still plenty of time to sow that up until may and these are some of the new ones that i picked up the other week which i'm going to sow this month because we're coming up now these really should be in the ground by the end of may so if i need to get around to start putting these in poppies they can be sown directly outdoors where you want to grow and that's the thing about April, we can start sowing now directly outdoors, don't have to bother with a greenhouse. But again, like I said, be on your guard with your bit of fleece. Sea holly, it's really the last few weeks now that you can put your sea holly in. Corn flowers, I've already said that. Uh, corn cockle, if you've enjoyed watching the corn cockles that I've been growing, there's still time to put them in during April. Something I've never tried before, which I'm going to do this year, is lavender. But I'm going to grow from seed. There's still there's loads of times to do this. I could leave this until, uh, until June if I was a bit too busy. And this one that I showed you last month, I'm going to put this in now because it's the last chance saloon for this one. Which is also known as the Globe Ar Amaranthus. I think that's how you say that word. Verbena. 
I'm glad that I found this because I forgot to sew it last month and April is really the last month it needs to go in. So I will put that one to one side and I will pop that in as soon as I've stopped doing this video. And you can't have a garden without your California poppies. These are sown directly outdoors now and like a lot of the uh, flowers will can be sewn up until June. So don't feel overwhelmed, even though there's a lot of stuff to go in. It's like Coreopsis was one of the first things that I grew, but you can sew this up until August. So what I like to do is I go through my seed packets and I think, ah, right, this one really needs to go in this month. I'll put that to one side and everything that can wait until next month, I'll put that into a another box, a bit like Lobelia. Lobelia really needs to go in by the end of this month now, uh, otherwise you've missed the boat for this year, unless you go and buy plants. And same with dahlias. If you're doing dahlias from seed, then April is really, really the last chance you've got to sow the seed. But if you do miss the boat and you think, oh, I forgot to put my dahlia seeds in, then you can go buy pl plug plants. Obviously it's a bit more expensive, but that is just some of the things that we can sow during April. A lot of this I will be sewing myself and I'll be putting videos up of that throughout the month. But go and have a look at the website and like I said I will add to the list as the month goes on. And if there's something that you feel that I've forgotten then tell me in the comments below. So I'll catch up with you next time. So for me until then, bye for now.